Mr. Speaker, I see hope all around us. That hope we need to instill in our young people is all around us. The volunteers who give so tirelessly give us hope. The police officers and firefighters and EMS personnel that lay their lives on the line every single day give us hope. The teachers who see potential in children that children don't see in themselves, and in some cases, potential parents don't even see in children. That gives me hope. The nurses who take an extra minute to comfort a patient give me hope. The single mother who doesn't let the fatigue of a long day of work at home and outside of the home doesn't let that prevent her from reading to her children every night gives me hope. Sir, the woman I met door knocking who was raising her grandchildren because as she put it, her daughter was not ready to grow up. This woman fought for legal custody of her grandchildren so that she could give them some opportunity, give them some hope. She gives me hope. Now the beautiful part of that is we, we chatted for some 15 to 20 minutes at her doorstep and I said, you know, I, I applaud you. I applaud you for being so strong. She said to me, you know, most days I don't feel strong. Most days I actually feel quite weak. And some mornings I wake up thinking I don't know if I can carry on with this. I wasn't quite sure what to say. But as I looked in her eyes, I could see the tears. The answer was, she's stronger than most of us. Because in spite of fear, she acts. In spite of being terribly afraid, she acted. In spite of being terribly afraid for the future of her children, she acted. I applaud her for, for her strength and courage to say, take such a bold step. She is the sort of individual that gives me hope. Yesterday's speech from the throne offers hope for the present, hope for the future, and hope for taking advantage of all of Alberta has to offer. The government is putting forward an ambitious plan that appeals to Albertans' wants and needs. This is a track that delivers on promises and offers an ever-increasing quality of life. My constituents are going to be pleased with the new ring road around Calgary because that's more time they get to spend at home instead of in traffic. By making it a priority to improve the efficiency and the effectiveness of health care delivery and providing hospitals to meet the needs of a growing province, we are demonstrating, sir, that the government has the right plan for health care. What gives me great pride to be an Albertan is the fact that one quarter of new jobs created in this country are because of us. That is a profound thing. I am absolutely proud to be in Alberta to contribute so much to this country. But that, sir, means we must continue on a path of solid economic management and growth and innovation. To ensure we remain prosperous, the government is working on adding value to our exports and broadening our economy. As Canada's largest producer of wind power and petrochemicals, our energy resources afford us much prosperity, but we must strive to be as entrepreneurial as possible and to make the most of our skills and innovation. Just today, I learned of some of the great innovations coming about because of our nanotechnology strategies. We will be a leader in this field by 2020. This is solid vision. This is true leadership shown by the Premier. And, sir, this will make sure we have a place in the, in the international community forever. One uh, 
There's one more story that I must share, and it's of a constituent I met during the campaign. Uh, my, my volunteer knocked on our door and said, you know, uh, I'm here with your candidate. And we heard some rustling, and after about a minute, the door opened. And uh, I was shocked to see a, a young woman standing before me in tears. And I said, uh, my apologies. Um, we don't mean to interrupt you. You seem to be going through something. And she said, no. She said, no, I, I wanted to open the door for you. She said, uh, she said, I've just lost somebody, but I still wanted to meet you. That moment touched me because it shows us the great position we are in. The people of this province and the people of Calgary, Mount Rose, have entrusted us with such a position. We shall never take this for granted. This shows me the importance of public life, something that we should remember when we take every action, something that we should consider every time we make a decision and have to consider whether it's a decision for greatness or if it's just a, a political move. I want to inspire young people in my constituency. I want to inspire a generation of young people. And if I can inspire just one of them to get a post-secondary education, I will have done my job. In order to inspire young people, though, we need to ensure that instead of our young people feeling inadequate, we must instill in them the understanding that they have the seeds of greatness implanted in them. Instead of our young people feeling limited because of the financial means of their parents, we must express to them that they have unlimited potential and unlimited opportunity in our great province. Instead of people seeing divisions and borders between people of different faiths and cultures, we must provide a venue for young people to experience human unity. Instead of our young people being marginalized by the way they dress, the music they listen to, or the one mistake they've made, we must accept them, we must love them, and we must give them a chance to change. Instead of teaching our young people to judge others, they must learn to bring out the best in others. Instead of young people feeling that beauty is based on shapes and sizes, and that love is conditional, they must see and they must feel that they are beautiful and they are loved. Instead of our young people hearing that one person just can't do anything or witnessing prejudice and judgment, they must know that the, that the ability to do great things, to uplift humanity, to serve, to prosper, to contribute, to live in harmony with fellow human beings is their potential. The greatness of humanity, the greatness instilled in every human being, the greatness of serving is to be realized and developed. That is my hope, that is my dream, and that is why I am the MLA for Calgary Montrose. Thank you, sir.